Oh, welcome back to the journal. I'm here with the producer of the last segment that we just saw, Andrew James. Andrew, how are you doing today? Not too bad, are you? So, as I understand it, you actually break dance yourself. Yeah, that's correct. Would you care to show us some moves yeah, today? No, no problem, no problem. All right, grab that off you, and the stage is yours. was incredible thank you thank you that was, that was awesome uh so I'll, i'm watching you and this is like the, this is the second time you ever heard that piece of music so how do you get like how do you put a routine together like that just um well basically you you get a feel for the the music kind of by the beats like they tend to stay really consistent and then you pretty much just work off that and try to just be cre as creative as you can so i guess this takes like a lot of practice how long yeah. how long have you been doing this um going on 10 years now Wow. So yeah. what, what got you started? Um, just uh, hanging out with a lot of other dancers around my area and just getting influenced by them and stuff. So So what would you say is like your biggest like inspiration then? Um, or people who inspired you? Um, Michael Jackson. Well, growing up, uh, just listening to his music and pretty much watching his music videos and stuff, just getting inspired by that. Awesome. Okay, well, I'm going to let you uh, take a break, get right. a little bit of a rest. <laughs> And uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna take it to our last segment right now. Uh, we have one, time for one last story, and it's such a great way to end it. This documentary has been dubbed the heart-throbbing tribute to Filipino nannies around the world, and the struggles that they face every day. So, let's check it out. Tres Marias. That's what my father affectionately called me and my sisters after my mom Maria. There are five of us in the family. Catherine was born in 1997 in Canada when I was 13 years old. Sharice and I were born in the Philippines. For a while, there were just three of us in the family. My dad, me, and Sharice. Growing up, my mom was far, far away. You see, in 1985, my mom ventured on her own to Norway before migrating to Canada, working as a domestic worker. I was only two years old and Sharice was 11 months. That was two decades ago, yet Nancy Quinone share a similar story now. In 2000, Nancy was forced to leave for abroad, leaving her three young children, Horace, who was nine years old, John, who was only six, and her baby girl, Trini Ann, only two years old. Through tears and sweat, both mothers willingly endure the long separation from us, their children, to give us better opportunities in life. This is the story of a Filipino nanny. An estimated 8 million Filipinos have been forced to work abroad because of poverty and lack of sustainable jobs. Philippines has no industries of its own, so it can't support uh, this, this pool, this huge pool of labor. 
The Philippines' major export is human labor, stripping Filipino children from their own mothers. It's really hard for me to accept that uh, I left them alone just to look for a better income for, to support them. In Canada, the majority of Filipino women enter through the Living Caregiver Program, also known as LCP. Most women are live-in domestic workers for affluent Canadian families. What does a nanny do for the children they care for? You need to feed them, you need to wash their clothes, and you need to take them to the school. Taking care of the children is not the only task the caregiver has. Cleaning, cooking, and washing clothes take up a good chunk of their time at work. Life is not easy. Caregivers have to complete 24 months of domestic work within three years before they can apply to be immigrant and receive full Canadian benefits. Is this cheap labor? If, if it were a Canadian worker doing the caregiving job, then that worker would be entitled to all the benefits. Being a nanny is the only job in Canada that requires them to live with their boss. Living in an employer's home, because it's a private home, 